not set up. And we're gonna fall today here in the market. Wow. And I saw that last night. Wow. Here, hold on. I gotta send a quick email today. We're gonna sell up hard today. That's what I just told the TV people. All right, okay, let's focus on Oracle, but I have, I'm not gonna be doing any holds today of anything. So 46 Oracle, let's see if we can get it and get out in a buck quick. Facebook, no, not gonna do anything with that. The data trade that was yesterday, which I told all of you in the morning and emailed all of you in the morning, and I guess Gyro found something else, which is fine, but I told all of you what to do with it, so. Didn't call any options in that because I just didn't. Um, and it may very well continue to fall, but I'm not gonna call an option in it now today. Um, and as far as PLC, I'm not worried about that qual bear because I don't think I'm doing it. Um, no, Brad, you're shorting. You're shorting. We're shorting Oracle. It's a short. When I call it, when I call the entry, you're shorting it. You're practicing now but you'll learn that this weekend. You're not going long anything here today. In fact, I wouldn't go long anything at all. And Galahad, I hope you're not going long anything in bounces or didn't yesterday in the afternoon because you were talking about that in the webinar and I really just can't get off on a tangent here about the market three minutes into the open, but if we have time, we'll talk about it when we're done. Um, no one should be buying any bounces. And if you don't know what I do, then just sit and watch. Brad, you're gonna learn, but we're shorting. You'll short the number I give, you short it, and 46 is a target. You'll be exiting at 46, covering, okay? We'll talk about it more this weekend. Uh, Gyro doesn't get those emails. Oh, you don't? <laughs> That's because you're on vacation half the time. <laughs> They're going to the Korean relatives. <laughs> now, actually, you're supposed to read my mind. I'm, obviously, you weren't aware of that. <laughs> actually, the correct answer is you're supposed to read my mind. <laughs> so now that you're aware of that, you can start reading my mind today. <laughs> Who, was anybody in the webinar last night? Because in the webinar, Oracle was trading around 50, 15. And I said, I'm not going to rate this tonight because it's going to look completely different tomorrow. And tomorrow it's probably going to open around 47. <laughs> that was, I, that's exactly what I said. In fact, I taped it. You can go listen to it. It's exactly where it's going to open. And it's exactly what I said last night at 5. <laughs> 5 o'clock. Man. I figure 50 cents for the stop in this. U.S. Federal Trade Commission is investigating Facebook. Yeah, Facebook's lower, but it's just too late to do that now. Okay. 
Okay, just don't jump into this, just wait. Also, we have to see what the spread's gonna be here. And it's better for rallies anyways. Okay, stop's gonna be, and I don't have the entry yet, 47.25 to be safe. So we're gonna do 74 by 25. If it hits, 74 by 25. And if it doesn't, don't do it and don't jump the gun. Here, do it, do it Facebook if you want it. Just get in and put the stop in at 25. Here, 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 here. I felt it was gonna hit. 47.25 is a stop. Get in if you want it. Uh, I keep saying Facebook. It's Oracle. <laughs> you got it. You got to know what we're doing. Everybody has Facebook, Facebook in my brain. Here, Oracle, be in it if you want it. Here, 46. Just hang on to it until it gets to 46. So, Brad, you were shorting it. You're shorting it. You're shorting this where I gave that number. And here, it's going to break 46. Just let it roll over. Great call. Yay, do 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 9.31. And let's quickly look at the market. And this is doing what exactly? Trying to hang on, but I don't think we do it. All right, so don't worry about that. 46.43. You could have scalped a little out of there if you wanted to, but I really think 46 is realistic. Good entry in this too. And I gave it plenty of room for the stop. I expect this to be a little wiggly jiggly too. Sets up again, I'll call it again. But actually, this really has to hold because if we get bumped out of this, then it's off. It's off for the whole day. I'll just make sure this stops in. Ugh, no, I'm out. I'm out. Crap. No, I'm out. Here, I'm going to try to find something else to do. And I was up money and I didn't get out of any. Nope, be off of it. It's not going to work. I'm going to try to find something else to do. You know what? do Facebook no I'm off of Oracle it just stopped me out and I was up in it it's not gonna work I'm gonna watch Facebook here and I, I don't think this is gonna be an aggressive venture we're just gonna sit and watch this here for a little bit I want to get a trade today and we just got stopped so I'm just gonna sit and watch Facebook here for a little bit if you don't want to do anything else don't and if you're in the open house you shouldn't be doing anything at all you should just be listening and watching Okay, if this sets up, which I don't know if it's going to or not, it's going to be 50 by 95, and that's going to be a great entry if it sets up in Facebook. 50 by 95 if it hits Facebook. It's going to be a great entry if it goes. 50 by 95, Facebook short if it hits. And this is going to be a huge trade if it works. This wasn't what I planned on doing today at all, and it hasn't set up yet. I really liked Oracle, but I'm not going to go after it again. It should have held. We, we gave up plenty of room. And if the numbers change on this, I'll give you a different number. I'm not looking at anything else, Koala Bear. If this doesn't set up, I'm going to flip to the market. We, we must find a trade here. We got 10 minutes to find a trade. We don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. Okay, let's see if this hits. 50. 50 by 95 Facebook. Give it a little time. The 
Just give that time. Just give that time. No, that isn't gonna work. Yeah, that's all right. That that call is off too. It never hit. I'm I'm just watching everything, trying to find a train and don't have anything yet. And just called Facebook. Now those numbers would be different if it's set up. I'm watching Facebook. Oracle, do not short. The market I'm waiting to drop, which isn't yet, and I don't think it's going to be a quick trade, which is problematic. PLCE, very thin and very spready and very expensive, starting to drop. Yeah, this is not really what I wanted to do today at all. It's already going. Let's stick. Let's stay on Facebook. Yeah, I'll look at Koala Bears and this is already gone. So I mean, this is just this just opened and sold off a very thin GPI. You can keep giving me ideas, but I'm going to go back to watch Facebook, back to watch the market. PLC already ran. This is too thin as well. Open and just sold off. No real entry here. And if it sets up, maybe. This I'm still watching. This I'm definitely still watching. This is going to try to break the low. The stop was really big, and it's already going, and I just don't think I want to deal with this after we got stopped in Oracle. Really would like to find an easy trade, and it might be Facebook, but not yet. Just wait. Nothing you can do. Nothing you could do at all. Just wait. I'm not even going to give you numbers here because I'm just watching this trade. The fast trade was Oracle, and we, it went and moved 40 cents. I didn't get out. It stopped. I'm not going to go back into it. So I wonder if we could get anything here today, if that's possible. Market is going to roll over. All right, let's stick on Facebook. Market's going to roll over. Okay, so Facebook, I'm trying to find an entry in here that makes sense. Stop is going to be... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stop is going to be 10. Let's do 50 by 10. 50 by 10 Facebook. And just work with me here because I'm trying to find a good entry in it. 50 by 10 Facebook. Stay on top of this. If it doesn't set up, we may, we may not get anything. We'll just stop with one loss. It's not the end of the world. This is going, but it's just way too late. Way too late, and really, you would have had to be very aggressive in the play in there, which I, I wouldn't have done. I just wouldn't have done it. But this is rolling over. I keep looking at it to try to find a way in. It's just falling. I think we stick on top of this, and if we don't get anything today, then we take the loss and stop. I don't think I ever would have shorted that PLC into that rally. <laughs> And this is just falling off the cliff. So waiting and waiting and waiting, that's all I can do.
is just too thin. That's why it's trading like this. I'll keep watching PLCA, but there's just no place to get in it here. And this I'm still watching. Still watching. Not doing anything. I'm just watching, waiting for a setup and something, but I'm not seeing it anywhere yet. Facebook over 170. We will be off of it though. It's about 60 cents away from that too. So give me any other ideas you have. Uh, PLC just went right away. Facebook, I will not short over 170. Oracle was up on it, didn't get out, wouldn't have been no reason to get out. Not going to redo that. And if this goes over 170, then I'm not going to do this at all. There's no reason, though, to be heavy handed today, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's for sure. 124. And here we are. Facebook. too bad it's too bad I wouldn't have done this but it did work Oracle is a bust it's just too bad all right Facebook <clears throat> don't have the entry yet don't have the stock just gonna wait Even down to the low now, though this is a huge trade, so just try to be patient. You know, we took a stop on Oracle. There's no reason to jump in anything. We could stop for the day. If I didn't see anything, I would. I do think Facebook, as long as it doesn't go over 170, is lower. But I'm not jumping into this. And do you see, if you had, you would have been stopped. Still think the market falls today, but I don't know what time or where.
still at 170. So I want to do something that's worth doing. Okay, I just I don't want to do something just to come back on the day. We want to make money. Facebook is worth doing. It hasn't set up yet. PLCA I don't think it's worth doing. It's just it would be more than a dollar stop for the same move. Okay, stopping Facebook and I don't have the entry is going to be 170.25, 170.20, 170.20 to be safe, and I do not have the entry. So don't short this yet. <clears throat> but that's 170.20. This is also why I didn't call an option in it because look, it really would have been a one day play and I was actually busy yesterday, but it would have been a one day play and you would have been out um, because even if we do end up doing this as a day trade short today and even if you did it yesterday, I don't really know where this goes from here necessarily. Facebook is still in an uptrend, so you know that's the reality and although it could sell off all the way down to 160, I'm not certain of that. So even if we do this today, it doesn't mean I'm calling an option in it. The time to do it was like literally into the open yesterday. That would have been decent and you really would have done it out with the earliest expiration and gotten out immediately. All right, Facebook here. And am I being patient this morning? 349. All right, stopping Facebook is gonna be 170.20. And it's not going to be a small stop, but that's life. And I don't have the entry yet either. Let's do 20 by 20. 20 by 20, Facebook short. Wait. Let's do it. Let's do it. Facebook, get in it and put the stop at 170.20. 170.20 Facebook. Man, was I patient with this today. 170.20. Let's just let it roll over. And we're trying to make money. That's the goal, not just come back, break even. But if you want to do that, you can. If it drops down and drops a buck and you end up getting out, break even from the loss in Oracle, fine. But uh, literally, this should go red today. It's green currently. So that would mean a $2 plus drop from here and possibly a break through the low. And I'm not saying I hold it till there, but I'm saying that would have been worth the patience today. 
So just let that fall. We waited for the rally. Here goes the market. The market's gonna fall today. And I know it's tricky. This is very, very tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. So Oracle is kind of a mess. Kind of a mess and really a mess. And it's unfortunate. It really made the move in a gap. I still thought it could get to 46. I don't know. Maybe we should have got out of this here for a quick one. But, you know, it looked like it was going to go right down. It looked like it was going to just go straight right down there. And this isn't even worth doing now. Um, but if the market does roll over, then this will again too. And this we're in with plenty of room for the stop. And we waited and we're very patient. And the other one here might set up again, but I never did the first one, didn't even call it. And really the gap was fine. It's just very thin, very expensive, very spready. It's trading slow even now. And the stop was big and I just don't think I would have done it. I know that I wouldn't have, so. And then it never really set up. So I was watching for another setup and it just didn't give it. And now we're in this. So if this works great, we'll make money today. If it doesn't, then I'll, I'll be stopping today with two losses and I won't do any other trades. It's funny because yesterday was a good day. I certainly expected today to be a good day too. But I'm not going to do any more than two trades. Just double check our stop. Gosh, I don't want to give us any more room. Let's give it 30. Let's give it 170 30, and that is absolutely it. 170 30, just in case. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to stop today. So I hope it does. This is not going to be a fast trade. <laughs> if it works, which I think that it does, it's going to be a huge trade. And in fact, we will add to it, <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> so we gave it a little bit more room. 170.30, I do believe that should hold. And if this does not hold, then I will be done for the day with two stops, which will suck. But yesterday was a good day. And I still think we can have a good week, but I'm not going to keep going after stuff here today. Very tricky today, though, because the market's green, but I think it falls today. Market sold off yesterday, and I'll talk about that if I have time, if we can get this thing going here, which it did not break. We could have waited until it broke 169. I didn't. I didn't think I was being aggressive, though. Really didn't think I was being aggressive in this, but I guess I'm going to find out. So you have the force of the selling into this, into the rally of traders buying the dip in here. So you have traders buying the dip in Facebook, which bought it up this morning for the last 25 minutes. Now we're in this short, and that is what you're going to see now who's going to be controlling what's going on today, sellers or buyers. I believe ultimately the sellers are going to be in control of this for the temporary period. The long-term trend in Facebook is still up, that's true. But I believe, here, come on. I believe that this is actually going to be controlled by the sellers today as well and for just, you know, the next few days or possibly another day or two. Um, I believe the rallying up here will be taking advantage of people selling who were still in it long because really when it opened this morning, look, it opened under 167, 166 something. 
Well, 167 is 47 at open. Low is 166.69. So if you were long the stock still and didn't get out of it yesterday, and if you were long it still this morning, you would be waiting to get out into a rally to exit to sell your long position. Oh, we still don't know. It hits me out at 30. I'm done for the day, people. I'm not giving it any more room. So that will suck, but there's nothing I can do. I didn't do anything wrong today. I wasn't going to get out of Oracle for a couple cents, and I just wouldn't have done PLC. I hope this works. If it does, it's going to be a huge trade. It will go from this big green bar. If this works today, which I still don't know because it's 10 o'clock now and I expected it to break before now. But say if this works, which I hope that it does, I'm in it. If this works, it will go from a completely fat green bar to a completely red bar. And that is really, it will look, it will have a massive tail. So the tail will be more than $3, which is very bearish. The This will have a massive sell-off today if it works. I still don't know because we're in it, we're waiting. But I'm just saying, this was green for 30 minutes straight. 30 minutes straight, a full on green bar, you saw it. It's still there right now. You can look at it on the daily chart. To go from this kind of look to be completely red is, is, is just a nightmare for people that are long the stock on the day. And I think it does it. But we are waiting now for quite a long time. And there's nothing I can do. All right, so market trying to fall. Market trying to fall. Didn't call any shorts here in this market. I think we just stick with one thing now. We got to get this going. It's trying. It looks good. Under 69, I'll feel a lot better about it. Under 69 is really what I want to see, and we could have waited to that. I didn't think I was aggressive doing it. Here. Here. Wow. This is so tricky. Market's tricky today. Facebook's tricky today. Every gap was tricky today. Oracle made the move in the gap down. Tricky day. We took one stop. You know, tricky day here. Man, this is going to work, but very tricky. Let's look at the market. So we, we really, maybe we should have waited the 10 o'clock because I thought the market was going to fall. Yeah, this isn't going to work at all. I thought the market was going to fall today, but it, it hasn't yet, but I still think it does. And now we're near the lowest. So we're going to. But the thing is that the rally, the rally in the first half an hour and the size of this piece of crap here today too, made this push back so much and really isn't holding in an area that's significant that anyone should buy it anyways. So this is probably lower tomorrow. And here goes Facebook. Wow. You could add if you want under 69, but the stop's got to be at the right place and we did give it more room. Gosh, do we do that? How aggressive should we be? Here, it's going to break it before I can even decide. Wow. So did anybody kill it? It pushed back even after we took it. This is going to pay us today. Not only bring us back from the loss in Oracle, which was nothing we could do about. We didn't do anything wrong there. But also, this is going to pay. It's going to be a big trade. Here it goes. It's trying to set up on a higher time frame. And this was so tricky. Didn't break 69 yet. Let's take more. Let's take more so we can have a quicker trade in case I do get asked to be on TV today. If the market does fall off a planet, let's do that. And then we're going to look at 168, but don't do it till it breaks 69. All right, who's doing what? Um, this still didn't set up again yet. It's still, uh, this is, you know, obviously this is working and I just didn't do it. 
Um, this one here, if you're in it, you're in it. Um, if you want to add under 169, that's fine too. Paul Bear's in Facebook, Frisco's in Facebook. Time of the day should be timed this with the market. The fall off with this should be timed with the market. Remember, I said I really didn't want to get over 170, but remember these are areas. These are areas. So then we gave it a little bit more of a cushion. I don't think any institution is going to buy Facebook today, and that's what we focus on. That's what we do. We don't follow traders. It's a, it's a recipe for disaster. Um, I do not believe institutions will be buying Facebook today. I don't believe any institutions bought Facebook today. I believe institutions that are still on Facebook after yesterday will dump the stock today, and that's why we're in it. And I wouldn't have done this off the get-go, but I got stopped in Oracle. And I would have preferred Oracle to work, actually. Um, and you know what else I wanted to look at? CMG has got to go here if the market falls of a plan. If it doesn't and anybody's in it, I honestly would just kill this thing. If it sets up again, retake it. This is what, again, uh, kill the losers, uh, hold on to the winners. That's the best advice I can give you. I looked at this this morning for the first time in a while. This has got to drop with the market here today. If it doesn't, just dump it. It's not right. It's not right. These things have got, I, I mean, it's not that the chart isn't lower. It is, but it, it should drop with the market today. And if it doesn't, dump it. Dump it. If it resets up, you retake it. Here goes Facebook. Here. Crap. Hold on. If you want to do more under six, 169, you can. But the stop is the same. And it's going to pull your price down some. Not a lot, but some. Man, was I patient with this? I was so surprised that Oracle didn't work. I was so surprised that Oracle didn't work. Here, Facebook. Oh crap, there it just broke. No, I didn't even get it, I didn't even get any more. Darn it. Here, hold on. Here, you can take more now if you want it. Just get get it, get more of the position if you want to now and put the stop in at 170.30. Just get filled, just get filled. It just broke 90 and I didn't do it, but I just hit it now. Just don't worry about the price. It's only a little bit off from where we first took it. Put it at 170.30. All right, here's the targets now. Now we have to pay attention to what we're doing. Facebook targets, 168. 167 75 and these are the fast targets but i really think 167 and even 166 today facebook if you can stay with it here here facebook this was a good call oracle just didn't work and that's life that's life here dip a dip a do -do. Wow, Facebook two days in a row. Here it goes. Man, it sucks that we took a loss in Oracle, but this is going to end up being a big train. All right, let's go look at the market. All right, here we are, trying to hang on, trying to hang on, trying to hang on to the low in the spy. We're heavy. When I look at this, I, this is heavy. It's heavy to me. It's It looks heavy. We gapped up today, but not enough. It looks heavy to me. We were green this morning. I still felt this is too heavy. Like heavy meaning we're going to fall, meaning not light and airy. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. I don't think even though we're on support in the queues that we hold, I just, you know, that's why, again, we don't buy support and short resistance. We look at the gaps. I, I, I don't think we're going to hold here today. If we do and we gap up tomorrow, we might rally with the Fed minutes. But I don't think we're going to hold here today. And it doesn't mean we don't rally tomorrow. And it doesn't mean we don't gap up tomorrow. And it doesn't mean we don't have a positive reaction to the Fed meeting. It's almost like, and I was thinking about this, we are selling off before the Fed meeting. It's like sell now, ask questions later kind of thing. It's really, people are so, people were talking about all kinds of reasons the market gap down yesterday. I really think it was selling into the Fed meeting. So I think we continue to sell off today in before the Fed meeting. And that's what I think. The reaction after that, who knows? But I think we're selling off before that. Brad, Facebook, we're in it short. Facebook, we're in it short. All right, let's go over the trade. Is anyone, who all, who all is in this with me? Anybody, anybody at all? Frisco and Colibert said they're in it. And I took more. Stops the same. 
Galahad's in it. Gyro's in it. Mike is in it. Actually, let's just go over everything one by one. So Oracle, the, well, this was a good read once we said get off of it because look, it's going to stop. If you had, if you did it a second time, you, you would be at, you would be stopped set twice. Look, this is a bust today. So anyways, this broke. We did it. We were up quick. Boom, stopped us out. Now that we could do, had to stop at the right place. I said, get off of it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. It really shouldn't have gone anywhere over 47. I gave it a cushion, but this is wrong. Then it looked like it was going to go in here. And I, no, I said, no, get off of it. And now, look, it didn't even do anything. It's going to hold the green here unless the market falls. And even if the market falls, this might hold green. This isn't right. Made the move in the gap. See, if you had redone this or we had redone it, we would be taking a second stop in that. So thank God we're out of this thing and just be off of it. There was nothing wrong with it. It rated good. Everything was fine, except for the fact that it just didn't work. So sometimes things don't work and sometimes there isn't a reason, okay? That's not the case with this. This was a great play yesterday. Emailed everyone. I guess Jai Rosen on the list. I'll have to add his email. Facebook, I did not call as an option because I was day trading it yesterday morning. Long story short, I got bumped from TV yesterday morning. Didn't find out till late. Jai was running the room. I guess you guys had a good trade in the other one you did which we can look at here too. But anyways, this was great. I mean, I never thought this would get to 170 something yesterday, um, or I would have called an option in it late, late after the day trade, like at, you know, 10 or 11. But I didn't want to call it then in the afternoon at two. Um, and here, this is going to go. <laughs> Woo! Here! Da, 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 da. Hope everybody did Facebook or stayed with it. It's going to be a big trade. Nothing I can do. Sometimes things don't work and Oracle was a bust, but you still had a valid entry there. Gap still rated really good. Probably falls tomorrow. Facebook. All right, where are we getting out of it? Oh, this is where it gets hard. If we get out of it at 168, hold on. If we get out of it at 168, I do not want to be a pig today. Any flush through 168, I think I'm going to take it. It's 10.08. I do think it has a big move down. You could even scalp some here if you want to just cover a little bit. If you just want to scalp a little bit in here, you could. It's had an 80 cent move in here now. You could just scalp a little bit out if you want to protect yourself. Yeah, here it goes. I don't think I ever would have been this patient in this had it not been for the fact that Oh, look, here it goes. That we took the stop in Oracle. But I will say, I knew 170 was the area. 170 was resistance in this today. And this doesn't count. This doesn't count as going over it. That simply doesn't count. 170.20. Thank God we moved the stop, though. Here, here goes Facebook. Yes. Steve is out at 168.60. You have to go to work. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Yesterday, this was a huge play. Boom. Um, today... You know, I didn't expect it to rally for 30 minutes. So, but I really wasn't sure what it would do. We did not watch it out of the gate. We watched the first one, the new one, Oracle. But then when I saw the market and I saw this and I thought this was lower anyways, and I know people buy this stuff that are traders, not institutions, then I knew it was going to fall somewhere sometime. So really, 170 was the maximum level that I would have shorted this, and we really could have just shorted it at that number. <laughs> we would have been a lot better of an entry. But um, anyways, um, here it goes. Wow, what a what a what a what a good call. This is to be able to flip around the day from Oracle to this and a top read. So many day traders went long this today, but no institution did, and that's what we looked for. And I don't think any institutions are going to buy the market today either. Oh, the market's going to fall today. We're selling off into the Fed minutes. That's why we're selling off. Not that we're breaking the trend here, but we're selling off into the Fed minutes. And you could piece out of a little bit of this if you want even in here. Steve, did he had to go? Not girl said I'm freaking amazing. Thank you. What was the one you guys did yesterday? O-L-E-D. Was that it, Gyro? Let's take it what this puppy's doing today. Oops. 
is just doing nothing. Wow, what a move in that yesterday. Holy crap, you guys did a good one yesterday. You could have done that all day too. And see, yeah, kill the CMG people. This should have fallen yesterday. It's green today. Nah, no. And I'm not saying it doesn't gap again and do something right for me to call it a second time. Dump it. Dump the ones that aren't working. Hold on to the ones that are. Let's take a look at everything on the board. And I have not been calling shorts. I, I'm not racing to call off 500 option puts. I'm not running around calling short the world here yet, but I will tell you one thing I saw yesterday in the market. Let me just look at this here. Oh, there's nothing there. Here this goes. Wow, what a great freaking call. Just let it drop, it's gonna break 168. Wow, and just in time, 10.15. Here it goes. It's gonna go from a massive green bar to a full on red bar and that is so rare, so rare. And we never short anything of the, we, we just don't do things like this. To do, this traded down $7 yesterday. Gap down, gap down $7 overnight. Traded down $7 yesterday, gap down again today. Market's still in an uptrend. This was so, such a good read here to see this would do this. And it wasn't fundamentals. It was the, the selling action and just knowing, just knowing that no institution in the world would buy this stock today. No one. It's lower. And traders bought it this morning. A dumbasses. It's and they have a stop under the low. So if you've got if you got the time to hold it under the low, you're gonna get a push under the low. I really don't have a lot of time here today. Let's see if we can just get one more small little pushy push down under. If we can get it down in the 80s or 70s, here. Here. Hand of the button here now, Facebook. What a great call. Here. Yay. Here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Great call, Facebook. Do whatever you want. I think it has a big target today. I did the ad. It was aggressive. Boom. Out. And I'm not saying this doesn't keep going. I like it. I like it. I love it. Boom. But we did take a loss in Oracle. Positive for the day now. And time of the day is 10.15. And that's a good decision. And it, here, market broke the low. <laughs> Yay. Here, Facebook, if you're still on it, if you've got the time, if you don't have to be on TV today, let it drop. 167.50, 167.75, 166.50, 166.00, bigger target on Facebook, here it goes. Is anyone still in it? Whoop, here it goes. I was waiting for it to try to break 80, and it didn't yet, and I took it, but look here, it just broke 80. There it goes, there it goes. I might have held a little bit longer if I hadn't taken more, but and that was really aggressive, actually, because it was taking more risk. Taking more risk, because the stop was the same. Here it goes, Facebook, wow. What an unbelievable call. Green Maverick's in it. Triple seven still in it. And Gyro is still in it too. Here, what did I just say 15 minutes ago? This stock is going to go red. It's doing it right now. I said this full on green fat guy is going to go be away. It's away right now. He's gone. He went from fat to skinny and now he's gonna go fat again, but he's gonna go red fat I said that 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. I said, this is when we did it. What time did we do it? It was, it was about a half an hour ago. It was about 25 minutes ago. It was about a half an hour ago. Half an hour ago, I said that. That's how you make money. You predict what somebody's going to do before it does it, and you take the train so that you can make the profit. So now you're going to have people that are going to kill the, the long in this that went long it. You're going to start to have that under this area here, more under the low. And then after it breaks the low, day traders are going to short any rally in this. But, but really, we, we shorted selling. So we shorted selling action. We shorted at the top. We shorted selling action that I predicted would come in, and I was right. What a great read. You have to go and read what institutions are doing in a stock and play with them. That's how you can make money. I saw it in Facebook yesterday. It wasn't an earnings gap, but I knew it was good. I knew what was going to happen. It worked. I'm sorry, Jaro didn't get the email. 
Either way, you had a great trade in the OLED. This is falling, it's going. Holy crap, look at this. Here, somebody hold this down to the break. It's gonna be a huge trade, $3 more. I mean, let's just look where this could go today. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. If it breaks 166, it can go, it can go so far, it's I don't even know. If it breaks 166, which is a real target, which I did right in the room, then it could go so far, I don't even know. And that's here. This is still going. And this is very early. It was late for us, but early for the day for the stock. Facebook is at 167. Wow. I could have held that a little bit longer. You could have bar by bar it. Even if you didn't do the ad, you are positive for the day now, decently, with Oracle stock. So great job, people that did the trade and stuck with it. Brad's got to go to class, okay? You're welcome. All right, let's look at the market. Let's look at the market quick and then let everybody go. Oh, actually, let's look at what's out for tonight. Hold on. Um... is today's date? I don't even know. Oh, it's the 20th. I'm like, what's today? <clears throat> March 20th tonight. FDX. Oh my God. Did you see that thing with the bomb this morning? Oh, FDX is out tonight. Actually, let's look at that stock. FDX is out tonight. Tomorrow, GIS. So maybe something there. Um, and so that's the story with that. All right. Tonight's watch is FDX. Oracle's taking a dive. Just can't, can't get motivated to do it. Can't get motivated to do Oracle at all now. Don't even want to take 100 shares. Um, FDX uh, reports tonight. This eye is still green and may fall today because of the market and was a good gap, but I think it should have fallen way before 1015, 1018, 1020, 1030. Expect everything to fall today if the market does. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I mean, I'm not even kidding you whatsoever at all. Red, red, red. red. The board will be red today if the market falls after the sell off yesterday. I'm just going to talk for two minutes here quickly about the market and then I got to go. Bottom line is that yesterday you had selling in the market. Here, let's look at Apple. Um, and I'm not rushing around calling all kinds of put trades at all, but I'm telling you that yesterday was the most bearish day we've had in 2018. And I was a little bit surprised. <clears throat> wow, look at this! Yay! It's almost going to break 167. Hopefully some people are still in it. A huge, huge call. Huge. Even if you didn't do the ad, this is huge. But sometimes those ads can be helpful because you just, you can kind of take faster exits with the ad. You're taking more risks. It's like two trades in one, but here this goes. Facebook under the low. It did what I said. It was a full body fat green bar and it has gone completely red now and it will go and be a fat red soon. Because you had people that went long the stock today, which never should have done that. The selling pressure came in on Facebook. Institutional selling. And that's what we do. That's what I look for every day. Unfortunately, Oracle had most of it in the gap. It's not to say Oracle isn't lower, but it sold off mostly in the gap itself. Is this going to break the low? Is anyone still in this whole trade? Did anyone do the ad and stay in the whole trade deal down here? Because that would be jimongous. I wish I would have done that, but I didn't know if it was going to go right down. It's 1020. Five more minutes, I could have held on to it. Anyways, let's go over to the market. Listen, don't let this get away from you, people. Don't let it get away from you if you're in it. It's a huge trade. $2 plus more. Don't let it get away from you. Don't be a pig, even though it looks great. 
Um, let's go over this thing here. So anyways, this thing here sold off yesterday. The market sold off yesterday and I don't remember the time I looked at it, 10, 11, 12, whatever. And I realized that it, you know, it was the first day I actually said, huh, you know, I, that was selling and it was real selling and it was selling that came into the market and it was the most bearish day we've had so far this year. Why? Why? Does anyone want to guess why? We can talk about this more tomorrow, but why was yesterday the most bearish day in the market so far in 2018? More bearish than the days that we had big fat red bars here and here. And if nobody answers it, I'm going to give you a two for homework and we'll go over it tomorrow. Mountain girls trying to talk it through, but no. We are supposed to get 15 inches of snow in New York. Well, that will be interesting. <laughs> 15 inches starting Wednesday afternoon. On the heels of the previous five red bars, that's an observation. That's not, that's not why I thought it, although it's a correct observation. That, that does, that, not necessarily, but you're right. It did, it, that is true. It did sell off for five days. You're right. Listen, even if we don't fall today hard, we're going to fall tomorrow. Only two people have thoughts on this? All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go and think about it. Why was yesterday the most bearish day of the year so far really in the market? You know, why do you think? That's your homework for tonight. I'll quiz you in the morning. If you, oh, look at this, you stinker. Selling action happens so fast. I could have held that a little bit longer. What a great call. <laughs> what a great call. What a great call. If this breaks 166 today, I have no idea where it goes. And it is there almost now. It's 1023 and this is near 166. And if it breaks that, it could just sell off all day like yesterday. It could go down another $6. It could go to 160. I'm not, I'm not even making it up. It is, it will just fall. 166.50, I see that, yeah. Brisk goes out, huge trade. Gordon, that's not why you're correct. All of you are saying things that are true. They're not false statements. They're observations that are true statements, but that's not really why I said that yesterday was just, you know, real bearish, very bearish, a bearish day that was noticeable to me when, you know, I've been, I mean, first of all, I'm very bullish in the market I've been, but I'm telling you that if we start to have, you know, some serious days like yesterday in a row, which not every red day looks like yesterday, not every red day shapes up like yesterday's day shaped up. I'm saying that the market will, will not turn around again and make new highs until later in the summer or fall. And that's not what you wanna see for the whole year because it could be four to six months then until we do anything that people would say looks bullish. And I'm just, I don't know yet, it's only one day, but I'm just saying I'm very aware of the fact that we could continue falling now today and tomorrow. Now we could fall hard today and we could fall hard tomorrow, or we could just you know fall a little bit today and tomorrow and then pick ourselves up again tomorrow after the Fed minutes or Thursday. I do think we sell off though into those minutes no matter what, but whether the sell off is small today and tomorrow or big, I don't know, but um, we're selling off into the Fed minutes for fears of interest rates rising. And I guess, you know, it's just gonna mean that we don't have as much of a bullish move this year as I thought. All of you 
are saying true statements, but that's not what I what I'm what I'm seeing. So homework for tonight. Why was yesterday extremely bearish? Extremely. And I actually don't think here. What the heck? I guess I could have called an option in this today. Here, let's just look and see what the. This is this is just so late though. I I don't want to call this so late. Here, let me just look at it. It's. It's just so. It's just too late. I should have called it yesterday afternoon. I can only do one thing at a time. I'm only one person. Facebook puts. This is a really late call. Crap. I'm just going to call it. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to send out an option trade. Look for it. If you're on the letter, I'm going to get going. I have things to do. Everybody should be up. Nice day. Sorry, Oracle didn't work out. Flipped it around immediately looking at Facebook. You see how you just, you know, some things don't work out. You can't cry and whine and complain and give up in the world because one trade fails. This was a huge call here, and I hope everybody did it. I will see you tomorrow morning in the room. And if I'm on TV, I'll let you know later. Have a good day, everyone.